What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's unboxing is the Keytron K10 Pro wireless and Bluetooth full-sized mechanical keyboard. This cost me $150, but is well worth it. The build quality is absolutely incredible. I'm just gonna say that right now. I've been using it ever since I've unboxed it. And of course we're in editing now. I'm using it to edit right now. This thing weighs quite a bit, comes in a nice box. Uh, the packaging inside the box it came with uh, was unfortunately not very good. It was just moving around in there. So thankfully you have all this padding on the inside. Here's the quick start guide. But that padding prevented anything from breaking. So uh, good on you, Keytron, for making some good packaging. Now, this resembles an older style keyboard. I'm going to mention that right now. But, uh, before we do anything, I'm going to get to show you the accessories in the box. Because, well, that matters. Just to make sure you know you have everything you need and that it comes with it. So here is the USB braided USB-C to USB-A cable, as it says right there. And uh, I added these little pop-ups to remind myself of everything because I didn't want to miss a thing with you guys. This is a powered cable and does power the keyboard very well. Here are the alternative keycaps for Windows, right? When it comes by default, it has the Mac OS keycaps on it. And this is the screwdriver, key puller, and hex key. Very good quality stuff. I'm not really familiar with using a key puller, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to show you what's in the box underneath the keyboard, which would be the manual and a few instructions telling you to be gentle and to be careful with things. Now, here we go. Edit this. So make sure switch pins are straight before inserting key because you don't want to break them off or anything. That would be bad. And on the flip side, it says, please be gentle and make sure to align the pins. The instruction manual is in here. It has a lot of useful information. I'll go over that in another video. But for right now, let's jump in to this beautiful, chonky, heavy keyboard that I'm honestly very impressed with. Now, opening this thing was annoying, so I just skipped your suffering. And uh, that's my camera remote. Isn't it pretty? So there's the key puller. There's the screwdriver. I don't know what happened to the hex key, but it's somewhere. And it's good quality key uh, puller. It's made by Keytron. Once again, there's the screwdriver on the bottom. This thing does come with a switch. The one on the left is the blue uh, tooth and the wired. There's a mode. So on the far left is wired. On the far right is Bluetooth. That other one is for Windows, Mac OS, and Android, or iOS, or Android and iOS. But there we go. We got two sets of feet, one to bring it all the way up and one to sort of bring it halfway down. And... Uh, I forgot to enable both feet, so it's a bit wobbly. There's the screws, so that's where the hex key goes to open it up, I believe. And yeah, this keyboard is very pretty, most definitely. Now, here's the cool part about this. Keys were a bit difficult to get off, but right now I'm switching over to the Windows keys because uh, the Mac OS keys got my brain a little bit confused, but the process was pretty simple. Pop the key out, pop the correct P, uh, pop the correct key, you know, back in where it's supposed to be and so on. There's not much really to talk about there. I just wanted to show that off and inserts the alt. And there's the, the lock key right there. Nice quality. And I'm going to show you the windows key as well. If it will focus, which it did. Thank you. And on goes the windows key. I actually put this on upside down by accident. As you can tell, it doesn't look right. So I had to use this to get it out. Again, I'm not used to key pullers, so a bit nervous at the moment. Oh, and it fell off. Yep, it's always fun to make simple little mistakes. Now, about the Bluetooth side of this, uh, it does work very well. It has a very long... Uh, I was able to use this out in my kitchen, which was kind of funny. And, you know, popping these in and out was nice. That was Discord, by the way. They exchange all the sounds with spooky sounds and in this one goes which again you had to fiddle with try not to break it or anything but i managed to get it on in the end now to um connect the bluetooth all you have to do is hold down the fn key which i'm going to show you here in a second press one for four seconds which enables bluetooth mode but you have to be in bluetooth mode for that to happen that's how you make this thing pair anyway don't forget to like subscribe share the video and i will see you guys next time see you there preparing the bluetooth if you have any questions leave it in the comments and i appreciate all of you